Hey everybody, Matt here. Um, this is going to be a video, I don't know what I'm going to call it, I think I'm going to call it something like uh, 2012 Nut Jobs. Um, this video was kind of inspired by a few different things, <clears throat> but um, I watched a, a video today, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to go into, into what video it was, who made it, all that stuff, what it was about, but I watched the video today um, and uh, kind of <laughs> pissed me off a little. Um, and then uh, watched the, uh, you know, Doomsday Preppers last night. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to post this, but for me it was last night. Uh, the first two episodes that came on. And, and there's been a lot going on that I've actually been wanting to do a video on this. I just really didn't, I don't know, I didn't know how to go about it. But, um, man, there are some fucking nut jobs in the prep community, aren't there? Uh, I mean... You know, I, I, I've stated in videos before that I hate the term prepper um, because, well, because I believe, first of all, I believe it categorizes uh, us in, in a way that is almost derogatory, you know what I mean? Um, because for me, as I've said before, prepping is just a part of life. I mean, I think prepping is something that um, is just normal, it's just human nature, it's just how we've survived as long as we have, you know, on the planet. Uh, it just happens to be that we got so lazy in the last few decades that um, preparing for things like bad times just kind of, uh, we lost it and it was no longer second nature. So now that it's kind of come back, we have to categorize it as something, so it's prepping, right? It's not just a part of life, you know? I mean, there's a reason that we have the, we have the term saving for a rainy day. It doesn't just mean money, you know, it means everything, you know? Uh, having what we need to make it through the bad times. Um, and so that's kind of my, my take on prepping. It's just normal, you know what I mean? I don't like the term prepping. I, I prep, you know, because I, you know, see that bad things can happen. They, you know, bad things have happened to me. I've seen bad things happen to loved ones. I've seen bad things happen on a grand scale when you look at natural disasters and things. Bad things can happen. I want to be ready for that for me and my family. That's, that's pretty simple, pretty basic, you know? Um, but I think there are some people out there, and I, and I think when I look at some of the videos that I've seen, and this was just one particular video that kind of hit me this morning, which was in reference to another video, which I believe was in reference to another video, um, <clears throat> that uh, really, it, I was just like, wow, that, that's, that's insane. That's insane that somebody would do that. But, you know, whatever. Um, and then I looked at Doomsday Preppers last night, and overall I was kind of, I, I enjoyed Doomsday Preppers, it was a good show, um, <clears throat> you know, I think it was, it was, it was a fair, I mean it was obviously done to be dramatic, because they want to get ratings and views and, and whatever, they want people tuning in, um, so there was, you know, a lot of dramatic music, and, and the opening sequence was dramatic, and, and the voiceover was dramatic and everything, and, and, you know, but I think overall it was a fairly unbiased look at preppers uh, by the fact that about <clears throat> half the people on the first two episodes were fairly normal. They seemed to be down to earth people that <clears throat> were just doing what they, what they thought they needed to for their family. And the other half were nut jobs. Um, you know, I, I literally, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to think at least twice on the show, on the, I don't remember if it was the first or the second show, they played two episodes in a row. Um, saw people literally dancing with joy, you know, doing this, uh, or, or, or talking about how, oh, well, when, when, when shit goes down, I'm, I'm still, I'm going to be the only one, I'm, I'm still going to, you know, have food, and I'm, I'm going to be fine, and the one, one lady was dancing about it, like, ah, I'm going to be okay, and you're going to be dying and starving, ha, 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 ha. There are people out there who actually want to be different. They they use the term prepper as a, as a category for them. It's it's different for them. They want to be different. They don't want to they don't want to be just oh I'm I'm like everybody else. I just you know store for a rainy day as it were. Uh, no, I'm I'm different. I'm I'm special. I'm a prepper, uh, and I'm better than y'all. And I'm taking care of my shit. And you know all oh, y'all are gonna die. And I mean this was the impression some people on TV had. And this is the, pe the impression that some people on YouTube give off. Like, oh, I'm special, I'm different, I'm a prepper. You know, not, hey, this is just common sense. You know, hey, people used to do it, we should start doing it again. You know, it's just good for you. It's just a part of life. 
Um, you should just get along and, and, and you know, help others prep, or, you know, or, or prep, I don't, it's like I said, I hate that word, but, um, you know, help your family, help, you know, all this stuff. Try and just make yourself a little more self-sufficient and a little more self-reliant, um, you know, to, so that when something bad happens, you can be able to take care of yourself. No, 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 no. These people want to be different. They want to be special. They want to, they want that, that category of prepper to define them and who they are. And, and I think when people let that define them, uh, they turn into nut jobs. At least that's the evidence I see from, from watching the show, from seeing the stuff I'm seeing on, on YouTube. You know, and I'm not talking about, oh, I got a bug out bag and I've got a plan for this and I've got a plan for that. I'm talking about, you know, people almost seem overjoyed at the chance to rub it in somebody's face that they have food and you don't. Or that they're gonna do something. If you try to take my shit, you're. I'm gonna make sure you die in some way, as horribly as possible. Or you know, I'm gonna set traps for you. And sh I mean, just fucked up shit, man. And I think we, as preppers, which I hate that. You know, if you're like me, when I think most of us are. I think the vast majority of preppers are pretty normal, down to earth people who are just like you know. Maybe it looks a little extreme to our family, family and friends, but for the most part, we're just trying to you know, make sure that we're okay if anything bad ever does happen. We don't want anything bad to happen. I, I like my internet. I like my camera. I like my YouTube, my TV, my computer. I don't want anything to happen. But if it does, I want to be ready for it because I have a family to take care of. And I think that's most of us out there, you know. I think most of us would agree that the term prepper, we don't really like that categorization, if that's a word. <laughs> You know, we don't like being put into a category, but the term does, I guess, aptly describe what we are doing. I just wish it was more of a normal thing. Uh, but yeah, man, th there's some nut jobs out there, and I, I think we really need to take a hard look at this, and because it's these kind of guys that are going to end up um, at a Ruby Ridge standoff situation. And I'm not judging Ruby Ridge. I know there's a lot of people out there, and I even I've studied Ruby Ridge, and it, it you know, to me does not seem like it was all their fault. <clears throat> so I'm not even gonna get into that, but that's the type of situation. It seems like people are setting themselves up to get into this type of situation where we're gonna start hearing crap on the news about, oh, well, a prepper from so-and-so is in the middle of a standoff with police. And next thing you know, anybody who's a prepper is gonna be getting, you know, knocks on their doors, you know, oh, you know, we're just, we, we think something might be going on here, all because of a few bad examples. Um, these, this is what I mean by 2012 nut jobs. 2012, obviously, because it's the whole doomsday thing, right? Um, so I just, I'm just, I just want everybody to be careful, man. You know, watch, watch what you say and what you do. Um, I think most of us out there, I mean, are just completely normal and there's no issues there. But we got to start weeding out the nut jobs because they're out there, man, and they're making us look bad. They're making the people who are just, you know, hey, maybe we look a little wacko to our friends and family, but you know, we're fucking normal. <laughs> you know, there's some truly out there people and we need to kind of weed them out and distance ourselves from them, I think, because um, this, that's not the attitude to have. Being happy and doing little dances on, on TV because we're gonna have food and you're gonna die is, is completely ridiculous and bullshit. Um, anyway, that's it. I'd love to hear thoughts, questions, comments, video responses, all that from you guys. Uh, I know this video, I think it went ran a little long, but anyway, uh, that's it guys. I appreciate you watching and I'll talk to you later. Thanks.